Biggest wave ever in New Jersey. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. anyone was claiming it was bigger in 1977 who could even remember that long ago yo your dad in that footage review is funny as shit, making the fun of the people who are going yeah it was bigger in 77 oh my gosh dude i'm so mad i didn't film yesterday i am like crying I would have loved to gotten those clips. Watch Spider-Man 2 instead, it sucked. Y'all thought I lost my wedding ring, didn't you? Didn't you? Through my quick thinking no. and reflexes. <laughs> through someone in the comments. telling us in the comment section that I didn't lose my wedding ring. We should fact, both be in this video. Let's both be in this video. It's like you always cut me out. It's like you never cut me in. You got too much airtime lately. I haven't got any. Okay, the story is from the comments, someone said, hey, you should check the lost and found. Airport the lost airport. and found. And then I was like, okay, smart. So then I emailed, or I called, then I had to email, and I was in communication with this one lady for like two weeks, two weeks, and then I had to go to the bank, get a, what was it, a wire transfer? A money, no, yeah, wire transfer. A wire transfer. The thing about the wire transfer was, it was $5 that we had to send them, but it cost 50 bucks. So I paid that. out of my money, $50 for this guy to get his freaking ring back. Tap Airlines, baby. You think it's like in <coughs> No. <laughs> Come on. Yes. No. That just happened. <laughs> Here we go. Be nice. Boop, 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 boop. Reclamados. Okay, here we go. Is it the right ring? Oh, wow, they made it nice. Wow. Come on, bud. So when did I lose this ring? The last day of our trip. Six weeks ago, seven. pretty much. December 7th. December 7th. It's yeah. not January 19th, like 18th. You need to... I am beautiful. No, you ate chocolate and it's like... <laughs> Alright. Come on, uh, God darn it. This is why I don't put you in. Well, how long are you taking? Wow! Is it the right one? Yes! Nice! You know how I said, I know it's the right one? It says, for the dream in the inside. For the dream, 11 20 21. Wow! I'm married again. I was getting so mad that he wasn't wearing his ring. We had multiple fights about it. No, because he Pillow just, talk. I, bedroom discussion. <laughs> you don't wear your ring. I was like, you lost my ring, darling. No, he lost it. And I bought him another ring and he lost that too. Yeah, Marshall. Where's my other ring? Yeah, Mar I left it in Milwaukee for you. What'd you do? You kept it? You kept no. it? Tried to pretend you were married? I know you beat Slater and all, but where's my ring, bro? Marshall's clearly not giving it back to you because he's already <laughs> back in Hawaii, so it was supposed to be sent. Marshall, the king of follow, unfollow, follow, unfollow, unfollow. Here's the claim. We are in the car driving right now. We are about to do a News 12 interview. You need to be on like ABC News Weekly or whatever. What are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. We're not exactly sure what happened, but this vlog is dedicated to getting to the bottom of this situation. What? Bob, How big the wave is? You're driving. Stop no, we're trying now. to get to the bottom Stop of now. it. Stop now. Stop now. I'm in trouble with my wife, and I forgot to wear my wedding ring today. He's in a lot of trouble, boys. A lot of trouble. So here we go. News 12 interview. All right, here we go. Snowing outside. Big News 12 vibes. Oh, 
while most New Jerseyans were shoveling their driveways or dealing with the high winds and rain from that winter storm on Monday, surfers were enjoying a day that folks will be talking about on the beaches for years. News 12's Brian Donahue caught up with one of New Jersey's most well-known surfers who had the ride of his life. The waves were so big, you would see one coming, and by the time you paddled out to it, it would just be like over there or over there. They would just swing crazy. South Jersey surfer and YouTube vlogger Ben Gravy describing last Monday in New Jersey, a day few in the state surfing community will ever forget. The winter storm kicked up waves as big as anyone can remember. Gravy flew home from a trip to California to find it bigger and better here in Jersey. For me personally, by far the biggest waves I've ever seen in New Jersey. And after getting battered and failing to even paddle out three times, he waited an hour for something rideable and then finally caught this monster. Oh my God. There's no way that wave is that big. There's no way that wave is that big, dude. Holy tarnation. Some call it a 10 foot wave, some 15, others have said 30 feet. Measuring any wave is impossible. Surfers famously disagree on how to even measure them, and the endless debate and ribbing about the height of any given wave is part of the fun. I think people enjoy the discussion of, yeah, yeah. is it the biggest? No, because all the old school guys are claiming not even close. It was bigger in 77. And then like people who might not really know are like, that's a 30 footer. And then like all of us are kind of like, ah, it's pretty big, but we don't really know. You can't say. Gravy's livelihood, meanwhile, is selling surfboards with his name and logo on it, making videos for his 153,000 YouTube subscribers. So he's got an interest in saying this was the biggest wave ever ridden in New Jersey, and some might back him up on that. But he's smart enough to stop just short of that audacious claim. Biggest wave ever in New Jersey. That's a claim. It's a heavy claim. I don't know if I can actually make the claim that it's the biggest wave ever in New Jersey. Besides, there's other factors besides sheer size adding to the legend of this ride as arguably the craziest ever. The icy wind chill and frigid water temps and the fact that he forgot his fiberglass board and rode his Ben Gravy model soft top surfboard. There she is. They're foamy boards mostly sold to beginners. Paddling that thing in this swell was kind of like showing up at an NFL game with a Nerf football. You got to ride that thing because you're selling these things or like you got to ride the soft top. What's what's that decision? Uh and so it was a day that provided images and stories like this that will fuel that local pride and bolster the claim that Jersey surfers in the arena they play in belongs right there in the major leagues. I'm Brian Donahue. That's Positively New Jersey. <laughs> I love the way he said, holy tarnations. Adhering to surfer etiquette, neither Brian nor Ben will divulge the precise location of the wave. I'm going to Kurt. call it 20 feet. That okay. was at least 20 feet. That, that was works. amazing, right? It's and we have huge. video of it, too. Yeah. Great picture. Even more incredible. All right. A lot to process here today. The thing about this is, my entire week has pretty much been encapsulated, taken up, overrun, taken over by this wave. Every friend that I talk to on the phone, every person I talk to via text message, every person I talk to via Instagram DM, every person I pretty much spoke with in person, everyone is asking about that wave. Now, as far as the size is concerned, who do you listen to? Do you listen to the comment section on the YouTube video? Do you listen to the comment section on TikTok? Do you listen to the comment section on an Instagram? Do you listen to the people who are saying it's absolutely massive? Do you listen to the people who are saying it's not even that big? Or do you listen to your heart? When I first rode that wave, I wasn't really thinking much of it. And this happens pretty much every time that I catch a bomb. I, w I was just thinking about the moment that I was in, the speed that I had going down the wave, the barrel that I had to navigate myself into, and then after the wave, I was just thinking about getting to the beach before I got sucked to New York. I didn't realize it was big because I got pinned under so hard that I actually came to the beach just to catch my breath, and I was telling Mackie and J-Rut, like, dude, I literally just almost drowned. I haven't almost drowned in years. And they were like, well, yeah, here's the reason that you almost drowned. And then J-Rut showed me the photo, Mackie showed me the clip, and we were absolutely losing it. 
So regardless of what anyone's opinion is, mine, a viewer, anybody, for New Jersey, this wave was an absolute bomb. But the question is, was it 20 feet? measuring tape, but I think I can eyeball it. It's a historical day of surfing in New Jersey. How big is that wave? I'm giving it probably, I'd say 17 feet. 16 feet? Oh my gosh, it's like... A over Wait, is that New Jersey? Biggest wave I've ever seen in New Jersey. I would call it like 10 foot for sure. I can call that a 15 foot face in New Jersey. I'm gonna call it 20 feet. And I said 20 foot. I think that's 20. an 18 foot wave. I was gonna say 20. At least 20 feet. Look how sick this wave is. Oh, dude, it was bigger in 77. I'm shocked how like big it was. I would say biggest ever for Jersey. So four feet is my thumb. That's one, two. Three, four. It's like 20 feet. I don't care what anyone else says. That was a freaking bomb. Ladies and gentlemen of the Nub Nation, welcome to our laboratory. This is where we use science to decipher the dreams of the world, and the dreams of the world use science to decipher us. Oh God, you just say things and keep going with it, so you don't, you don't sound silly, right? My job in this experiment is to measure Ben. Measure him bending down, crouching down like he did on the biggest wave ever, I claimed it, in New Jersey. Um, so we're gonna see how tall he is. This is our experiment. We have the surfboard up on the bench. I'm going to reenact in our high-tech hyperbolic chamber. I'm going to reenact the exact velocity and force of the bottom turn that I took on that monster wave. He's paddling, he's paddling, he's paddling. He's getting up, he's standing up. Okay, he's going down the wave. Whoa, that's a big one, that's a big one. Wow, 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 keep your balance, keep your balance. And now, here it comes. He's doing the bottom turn, he's doing the bottom turn, and he's crashed down, and now I will measure. Right arm, where's my right arm? This one's down. Right arm, down. Say this is the, that's There's the, the wave. wave. Left arm here, wait, there, and I'm looking that way? You're looking straight, or you're looking a little bit this way, like that. Okay. <laughs> So do I look the same height? No, you're even more. You have to, whoa, your weight, you gotta be like this almost, like squat. Even more, yeah, 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 that way. Verify it. Four feet, like we said. Four feet exactly? Four I'm feet. losing the beanie. You're like four. You're about four foot one inch. Four foot one, the four official one. calculation. Four foot one, four foot one. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you live from my shed where I hold an angle to make it look like I even know more of what I'm talking about than I already look like I do. Today, we broke truths. We dug deep. We myth busted. We got to the bottom of an equation that was thought to be impossible for many, many days to figure out the exact 
and precise height of any given wave that a man could shred. Was it 20 feet? Sure. If you go by scientific calculations and reason, the wave was precisely, biologically, 20 feet. If you go by actual scientific calculations, the wave's face at the highest point was about 20 feet. But I'm a surfer, and surfers don't measure by scientific calculations. We measure by delusion. So therefore, there's no way, there's no possibility, there's no potential that a wave could ever be 20 feet on the Jersey Shore. So therefore, we say it was three to four Hawaiian. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, guys, I hope that you really had a fun time watching this video because when it's all said and done, it doesn't actually matter how big the wave was, but I really did enjoy the hype that this wave had and I enjoyed everybody reaching out to me, everybody making their claims. Every Some people saying it was one foot, some people saying it was three, some people saying it was 30, some people saying it was 25, some people calling it 10 foot Hawaiian, quadruple overhead, this, that, whatever. It was super, super fun. I think that this is what it's all about, like everybody just sharing their opinions and, and making it something that it's really not and making it something just fun and enjoyable. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Look at this. Me and Jordan are currently moving. Look at the shed, oh my gosh. So we're trying to get all of our stuff to our new house and I'm really excited to give you guys a tour of the new house when we finally get in there and we finally get everything figured out. If you follow my Instagram, I'm sure you've seen some, uh, just a couple parts of the house like I showed my office yesterday. But anyway, thank you guys for all the stoke. Like I said, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how big that wave was. It's all in good fun, and uh, I hope New Jersey gets an even bigger swell, and we find even bigger waves, and the dream will continue. But thank you guys for all the stoke. Thank you for watching the videos. I hope that everyone enjoyed the trailer for my documentary coming out. The premiere is February 5th in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, and I hope you guys are excited for that. I am absolutely stoking, and for the dream. If you guys are enjoying the videos, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also leave us a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section below. I love you guys. Nub Nation for the win. I'll see you next vlog for the dream.